Consider all. Did I forget the E? Consider the plan flying at a speed of 300 mils per hour at a bearing of north 50 degrees east. The wind is blowing from the west. What? We got a wind speed now? At a speed of 40 miles per hour. Fun fact, I have no idea how, plane, how fast planes fly, so I don't know if 300 is even feasible. Or not feasible, but realistic. A crop dust. So it's somewhere between a crop duster and a jet. I'm cool with that. Maybe it's a crop dusting jet. I don't think that would be good. Find the ground speed of the plane. That means if this plane was flying on the ground, which would be terrible, how fast is this plane going? In other words, ground speed means what is the speed of the plane in the wind? What do we need here? A picture. We definitely need a picture here. So the plane is going 300 miles at a bearing of north 50 degrees east. So if this is my point of origin, what quadrant are we really focusing in on here? Yeah. All right, so north 50 degrees east, something about right here. Uh, this is 50 degrees. And we're told the speed of the plane is 300 miles per hour, so I'm just going to put 300 there. Now. I'm going to label this as vector P for plane. Let's talk about the wind. Or as my friends would say, quoting Captain Planet, wind, because that's what the little girl would say in the cartoon. Look it up. The wind is blowing at a speed of 40 miles per hour. Well, here's the thing. You could totally draw your vector W for wind down here. Oh, I forgot to mention, from the west means that it's heading what? East, which I happen to draw anyway. So please be careful. I could say heading west. I could say from the west. They mean completely different things. Or westerly, very good. But notice by saying that, I don't need, I don't need to give an uh, angle direction that's implied for this one. So you could draw the vector w having the same origin point as the plane. Uh, but the thing is, is that thanks to the parallelogram law, if this is vector w here, you could also draw the vector w as the terminal point having an initial point where the terminal point of the plane is. That would make a little more sense. The reason being is after you apply vector P, the speed of the plane, and then you apply vector W, which is the speed of 40, then the new vector created would be where the plane began to where the wind ended. So this would be vector P plus vector W. So the point of this is twofold. One, figure out the length of vector P plus vector W. That's the ground speed. In other words, the plane in the wind. And two, figure out the bearing of the plane in the wind. So that's this angle right here. Let's clean up this drawing. So we know this is 40. We know this is 300. So those sides are given. We're given information about an angle. We know that this angle right here is 50 degrees. So that's all we got. What else do we know?
or what else can we conclude safely without persecution? Where else could I draw another 50 degree angle? Up there where? Using your words here. Yeah, because if this is 50 and then technically there's a set of axes here, then that means this is 50 here. Good. And since the wind is heading due east, that means that this angle right here is what? 90. So what's this complete angle between the 340, the vector P and the vector W? What's the complete angle? So if this part's 50 and this part's 90, O is close, 140. If this were set at our live right now, you would go, because what section are we in? What is this picture? What section are we in? Side, angle, side. What section is this? 8.2, law of cosine. Because we do not have a side and its corresponding angle. But notice the side we're trying to find is the uh, plane, the vector P plus vector W magnitude. So if you would, use your friend, the law of cosine, to figure out the magnitude vector P plus vector W. I'll give you a hint. Go from there. You're welcome. It's my gift from me to you. All right, according to the law of cosines, It would be the square root of the other two sides squared, add it together, minus 2 times one side, times the other side, times the cosine of the angle between them. Now your calculator may be set to radian mode. Uh, so please carefully throw all that in. You should expect your answer to be bigger than 300 because 140 is the largest angle. Let's go to the nearest whole number here. What do you get? Now let's talk about why that answer makes sense. Notice the plane and the wind. They're pretty much going in the same direction. Yeah, the plane's heading north east-ish, but the wind is heading east, whereas if the wind and the plane were going opposite directions, then we should expect the plane and the wind to be smaller than 300, not bigger than. I don't know why there is a degree sign. I just got excited there. There should be no degree sign. It's like I did a degree sign before. I don't know why I did that. So this really should be, excuse me, miles per hour. Sorry about that. All right, good. So now by getting to 332, we can switch over to, instead of a, uh, side, angle, side, we can switch to side, side, side. So if we found what this is here, this angle measurement is there, and then if we added that to 50 degrees, that would be the bearing of the plane and the wind. So what would the setup be to figure out that angle, and I'm going to call that angle B. So again, once you're in law of cosines, you have to stay with law of cosine. What would the setup be? Huh? Are you asking or telling me? Good, 40 squared. Uh-huh. No, I don't know. Not, but no square root, though. Yeah. 
So 300 squared plus 332 squared minus 2 times So as a reminder, am I giving you these formulas on a test? So if you do not have them memorized, what's going to happen to you on the test? Correct. You will poke your eyes out. Sort of like an Oedipus style, but hopefully not for the same reason. OK, so anyways. To solve for B, we're going to have to subtract all that junk, divide by some junk, and then take a healthy cosine inverse. What? I know. What do you get for B? Let's round this to the nearest whole degree, if you don't mind. I got 7. Oh, I did get 4.35. I wonder if I changed the number on my... I did. I made it... A, I had 180 first, so... That'd be a, a crop dust in there. All right, so what's the bearing of the plane? I guess I wrote 7... <laughs> Now i got to erase all that. Hold on, let's pretend this no, none of that happened. What did you get, class? Say four. Four! Four degrees! Good job! All right, so what's the bearing of the plane? Give me a bearing, please. North 54 degrees east. Good job, class. Look how fancy that is. Whimsical, even.